So, so when you say hardware, are you because that, uh, most of the time what happens is that people take it from the Chinese vendors, mm -hmm. rebrand them, mm -hmm. or or do you really design your hardware? How does it work? So it's a so it's a split. So mm -hmm. and part of that process is sort of um, initially mm -hmm. we went to uh, existing um, uh, ODMs mm -hmm. for our laptop. And so in that case, we can source certain component parts. Right. So these are called what's called public molds. Mm -hmm. So like our case is from a public mold. And that allows us to save an awful lot of, of money up front on tooling costs. Right. right. Because these are very expensive very tooling. Exp yeah. And so we can, so we did a combination mm -hmm. of ex using, utilizing existing public molds and then modifying them to our needs, such mm -hmm. as anodizing it black, right. adding some uh, after tooling, mm -hmm. adding some... Uh, cutouts for hardware kill switches. Mm -hmm. And then we also, um, you know, reprinted the keycaps. Mm -hmm. So that was a design change. So we have a, a full list of what we source versus what we modify versus what we manufacture entirely. Uh, that's for the laptops. So as an example, the motherboard is a Intel reference design mm -hmm. that we then modify to our needs, adding hardware kill switches, rerouting certain components, adding mm -hmm. a TPM. Uh, you know, in some cases for some of the versions we put out where we have uh, additional RAM slots. So we've uh, started to gain more leverage into that space. That's all the way up through version three. Our version four of our laptop that we're going to come out with probably late this year mm -hmm. uh, will be from schematics on up with our own industrial design and mechanical design. Part of that is because we've just grown and been able to gain leverage so we can influence more of that change. Oh, okay. On the phone side, that is entirely us, uh, mm -hmm. meaning the- uh, All the way from yes, talk to okay. From, from schematic to all the EE, all the ID, industrial design, all the MD, the mechanical design, uh, and all fabrication, PCBA, mm -hmm. right, uh, everything. So we have worked with individual groups mm -hmm. uh, within mostly out, just outside of Shenzhen to do that fabrication. And so we've gone direct to each of those and, and we're managing that entire process. So that's, that's on the phone side, which then also we get to then replicate for laptops uh, mm -hmm. to come back to say, you know, we have grown large enough where we don't need to leverage a shell, right. uh, you know, a case uh, from uh, the, uh, a public mold where we can do our own because we have the uh, cash to do so. So that type of growth allows us to then leverage more and more up into that supply chain. Right, right, right. You mentioned kill switch. What, what is that? So we have in all of our devices a physical switch, which actually severs the circuit of webcam and microphone together. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be in the, this is already in our laptops and this will be in the phone as well. And then we also have a hardware kill switch that severs Wi-Fi Bluetooth on laptops. We'll also have one on the phone. And then we're also going to have a third switch on the phone that severs all circuits, uh, oh, sorry, all uh, sensors. Mm -hmm. So it severs the circuit of all the sensors that you can say, I want all my sensors off, which would be like a GPS, uh, okay. accelerometer, right? Uh, even light sensors. Uh, to um, and then you can end up toggling it back on if you want and then you can individually select the ones you'd like to have off. Oh, wow. right? And so then this removes an awful lot of these what were previously let's say theoretical threats mm -hmm. but they move into an area that uh, there's more and more proof that some of these you know even an accelerometer can right. show certain um, uh, things that are you know privacy you know uh, let's say uh, privacy issues that you could encounter. And so these theoretical threats are starting to move where now they're uh, actually being studied and tested. Right. And so what we want to do is be ahead of that curve and say that, hey, you know what, you can toggle them off if you want to, if you're not using them, or toggle them on through a switch mm -hmm. and then individually select them. So then we end up with uh, a, a device that is truly in your control, and then you get to enable or disable the things right. that you'd like to do.